So far in Isaiah, we discussed that the portion of Isaiah that Mark quotes introduces us to a, the pardoning of sins. <clears throat> and then a little later in this same chapter, it's also talking about some other things. Specifically, <clears throat> Isaiah 40, 10, verse 10. Actually, the last part of 9 and then into verse 10. Tell the towns of Judah, your God is coming. Yes, the sovereign Lord is coming in all his glorious power. He will rule with awesome strength. See, he brings his reward with him as he comes. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. The reason I wanted to break this down a little bit further is, remember, Mark is introducing Jesus onto the scene. That's, the, that's within the first couple of verses of Mark, and they keep getting pulled back into the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, for these quotes, and that's why we're breaking these down. <clears throat> so what's funny about this is uh, prepare a way for the Lord. That's funny because, you know, God doesn't need any help preparing things. It's a, it's kind of his MO, though, if you will, that he uses people to get godly work done. So that's always something to keep in the back of your mind. Kind of like, whose team do you want to be on? Do you want to be on God's team? Do you want to be on your own team? Do you want to be on the world's team? Or do you want to participate in his plans and uh, be a team player with what his purposes are? Okay. The other thing I wanted to point out here is, it says your God is coming, and he certainly is, and there he was in uh, ancient Israel coming to be baptized. And there he was incarnate to start participating uh, in life as, a, as one of his creations, though he was the creator. So that's also an interesting point to, to ponder and keep in mind as we're going to go through Mark. We also have uh, the mention of rewards here. See, he he's uh, he will rule with awesome strength. See, he brings his reward with him as he comes. And then you wonder, what's the reward? Just keep reading. He brings uh, his reward as he comes. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. So what's the reward? Seems like, I'm mean, just pulling it right out of the text here, it seems like, what's the reward? He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. So to me, you've got, got two things there. You've got food, you got proximity. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. So, so not just throwing out food, but feeding his flock like a shepherd feeds his flock, making sure they're well taken care of. And proximity, he, he will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. So that's proximity. That's, that's hugs. How do you hold something close to your heart without putting your arms around them and, and embracing that? So why, why is Mark referencing this point of Isaiah? Like we said, sins being pardoned, the invitation to participate in his plans, right? Making making the path straight. He doesn't need the help. He's 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 uh, soliciting participation. Who you know? Who's with me? Who wants to come do this work with me? The reward being food. Yeah, you will be full. You will be fed. You will be sustained in all this. Uh, Jesus always liked to eat with people. And that's part of fellowship and being together, which leads into the other thing that I pulled out of there, which was proximity. 
Uh, you'll be close. You'll be with him. And that's why Mark is referencing this piece of, of Isaiah. So with that, we will get back into Mark next time. Whoa.